Hello again, my crafty friends, and welcome back to So You Only Have 10 Minutes with the November 2020 sheetload of cards from Alicia of Call Me Crafty Owl. Today, I'm going to finish putting on the pattern pieces of the, the cards that we had matted. So let's begin. 10 minutes on the clock. Fill out my Tombow. And I went ahead and cut down these bottom pieces off camera. Okay. <clears throat> because for some reason they were just a little bit too big. I wanted to show more of the silver matting. And I wanted to make sure that I got at least one berry <laughs> in this pattern paper when I cut it. Like I showed you last video, I have plenty of pieces left from this. And so I can make extra cards. Now that's going to be a little bit wide, but that's okay. It shows off the embossing. Hmm. Oop, that one's not long enough. I don't know what happened there, but we will fix that. I always find out on camera that something needs to be fixed or adjusted. We've already found that out. That's too short, too. I don't know what happened there. Okay. We have... There we go. See, I told you. <laughs> it's it's very confusing when you end up with a lot of uh, similar size scraps. You grab the wrong scrap. Which I did. a little too tall too but that's okay there's our polar bears all right we have one more but I need to make this piece a little longer let's see And our polar bears. And 
Last but not least, snowflake paper. We still have four minutes. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start stamping. These are our two inch circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I chose Deck the Halls. I believe this is from, this could either be from a Hero Arts kit, October 2017, or a myriad of stamp sets. Deck the halls. And the nice thing about circles is that no matter which way you stamp it, it's a circle. So, and you, you could always, yeah. So you could do this way, this way, this way, doesn't matter. And I'm using um, just a Craft Smart Red because I think it goes well with the red in the paper. Now, I used a die for these, and I also, I used a, a Starburst die for these also, that, that this is going to go on. If I had to do it over, I mean, they're wonderful dies, the circle dies from Stampin' Up, but if I had to do it over, I would probably get punches, because they have all kinds of punches now. So, what I did was I cut three of the garden green and three of red and that's what we're going to attach to so anyway let's go ahead and start putting these on and I just you can just barely see it peeking out but that's fine I, I tried it the other way and it was it didn't look good. It was too much of the Starburst pattern. Or too much extra cardstock showing. It didn't look good. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, head to me. Okay. There's those. We're down to 47 seconds. We have both colors. On the pattern paper so it doesn't matter which one we do that's the idea that's your basic card and, and of course if you know me we're going to be doing some decorations Okay, I had two cards left to do, 
There we go. Okay, so here's four of the basic card. We have two more left to put this on. And then we can start decorating. All right. I can't wait for you to join me. And thank you so much for watching. And you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.